way they were able to come back after last week's disappointment. And it's been the same like thing. Yeah, Rich, you know, you're right. I mean, we've said the same thing for two years. I mean, these are the type of kids we have. First of all, I'll give a lot of credit to Wisconsin. I think they have a really good football team. They're tough. Uh, I think they're coached very, very well. I have a lot of respect for Gary Anderson, his, his career, and what he's done here in his first year at Wisconsin. So it was a tough game. But, yeah, our, our guys... You know, they practice hard, they, they, they love to play, and you know, I, I can tell you flat out that they took offense to the fact that they were 24-point underdogs and that nobody even in state college thought they could win the game, except the kids in that locker room and the coaches in that locker room. So I think those kids took it personally. You know, you take those things personally. That's just the way it is. That's football. And, uh, you know, I, I feel really good for the seniors that they were able to come out on a winning note. How did you address that? Did not at all? Flat out. Dressed it head on. What you, what I thought it was ridiculous. Yeah. I thought that Wisconsin was a very, very good football mm -hmm. team. Uh, I thought that they had a great year, and I thought that we were close in some games, and we had shown resiliency, and we had some good players, and I thought you know, that we matched up pretty well. And, and I don't know who, who makes those lines. I'm not allowed to talk about betting, but it seems like a lot of you guys you know, felt like that was the, the right line, and you're I, wrong. I picked them by more. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but did, you, did, you, did, did you deal with it or just let them see it and then let them yeah, no, I did. Let I, them I, see it? Yeah, no, I, I said, look, I, look guys, I, I don't, you know, I always talk about the media. I try to educate these guys on the media and, and, you know, because I enjoy talking to the media. And I think these guys do too. And I think one thing that, the, that these guys understand is it doesn't matter what any of you think. With all due respect, you guys are great writers. I mean, you guys are awesome. But it doesn't matter what you think relative to that football team. It doesn't matter one bit what you think. It matters what they think. And that's what I think they understand. And, and uh, you know, they showed it tonight. Hey, Bill, uh, Christian had a great game. Do you think it was one of his better games this year? You know, I have to watch the film, Joe, but it seemed like he stood in there pretty good. And, and uh, you know, he understands the pocket better. And I thought he did a good job of uh, delivering the football and being accurate with the football. And, He's a good player, you know. He's a good young player that, that I think if he continues to work, he'll he, he's got a chance to be, you know, really good. No, there was a lot of false start was? penalties today. Can yeah, you talk, not good. Can you talk about the false start? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was um, it, it, it's not good, and uh, we hadn't done that all year. And you know, obviously, I take responsibility for that. I I coach the quarterback, the cadence, the whole thing. I run the offense, so it wasn't good we got to make some changes and make sure that we we get that coached up better that was that was bad for talk about the play of Allen robinson uh he looked pretty good out there uh especially early yeah on. he made a lot of plays again tonight uh you know i think even the even the plays that he didn't make it helped you know because there was the threat of him making a play and and i think that always helps in the running game which is very hard to run the football tonight but uh you can't say enough about Allen robinson he's he's uh you know, an excellent football player and uh, great guy to coach, great guy to be around. Hey, at, the the, uh, was, uh, at the beginning of the fourth quarter, you guys all did the, started dancing to the jump around. Whose idea was that, or did it just kind of happen? Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to ask the players. I, I'm, I don't even know what that song. What is that? This is the House of Pain. Yeah, House Boston. of Pain? They've been Boston. doing that for years. Is it Boston? They're from Boston. House of Pain. Wow, I didn't have any idea about that. Sorry, my wife's laughing at me right now. <laughs> so was, was there a formula, because you guys hadn't played that well on the road, or, or really that well at all on the road, is there something that you changed or uh, wanted a better start, or what can you talk about? Yeah, I think, I think, you know, again, Neil, I think it has to do with how you define playing well on the road. I, we've lost, so clearly if you define it strictly by that, we haven't played well on the road, but we've been in close games on the road. We. You know, we've been down on the two-yard line, fumbled the snap. We've had two-minute drives and didn't come up with, we missed field goals. We had bad field goal snaps, and that's not playing well, and that's not good on the road to do that. But I think we were close. You know, I think we were close to playing well on the road if we could eliminate those mistakes. We didn't eliminate all those mistakes tonight, but we eliminated enough, and our defense hung in there and, and played a whale of a game, and, and our offensive guys made enough plays to win the game. The last, the last three games, you Lewis got a lot more snaps for that Ranger reading. How much progress have you seen in making since that Purdue game? It's still starting for you and getting more plays. He's made a ton of progress. He's a fun guy to coach. He works extremely hard. He, uh, you know, again, he's he's become a better route runner. He can become an even better route runner. He's a good deep ball runner. He's a good post runner, good go runner, uh, and he's and he's worked on his running style. If that makes sense, he's become more of a receiver. You know, he was a quarterback in high school, so it's difficult to make that transition. That's not an easy transition. And I think he's done a nice job and had a good game for us tonight. So how, how important is it, Bill, to finish on a high note like this, knowing you don't have a bowl, you know, going into the offseason, what you hope to get to? Right, uh, Mark, that's your bowl. 
that's your goal right there. I mean, that's what it is. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we came out on top against a very good team, a team that was ranked 15th in the country and deservedly so. And when we watched them on film, we knew they were good, but we knew that we were close to being pretty good. And so uh, our kids were, were resolute in the fact that they would come in here and play well, and they did. And so it means a lot going into the offseason for the guys coming back, and it certainly means a lot for our senior class. Yeah, what was wrong ten on uh, the Zwinak run late in the game? Third and ten, you guys are backed up on, yeah. on your own end. I, I'm, I'm not even sure if it was third and ten, but it was third. Yeah, it was just close. Yeah. What, what was your reaction when kind of the, the hole just opened up and, and no, no one touched it? Yeah, well, you know, it's just, you know, you try to, you know, again, you're trying to stay one step ahead. You're thinking, what are they thinking? Maybe they're thinking we're going to throw it down the field, so they're going to play too deep. and. You know, maybe you can stick a draw in there, and that's what we did. Excuse me, and, and uh, we hit the draw, and it was good, and I was happy. But, you know, you're thinking about the next play, and, you know, so you don't, I mean, I didn't pull out my pom-poms and start cheering. So, so uh, Amos uh, left the game pretty early, and, and Malcolm didn't play the second half, but do you know what was wrong with Malcolm Morris? I think we went with those guys at safety that, um, um, you know, that, that made some plays, and that's what we did. I, I think Mal got a little banged up, and, and that was basically what it is. I'll find out more about that. Uh, Joe, but we'll, we won't have any more press conferences, so I don't know when I'll be able to relay what what exactly happened there. Joe, how be before spring practice. How about the Christmas card you sent? The game. Phil, <laughs> <laughs> how, <laughs> how, how does this win or does this win change the, your perception of this season? Yeah, you know, I think it was an up and down. I still think it was up and down, Rich. I really do. I think that uh, there were a lot of close games. My perception is this. I think that that in this program, we this year we had a small margin of error, and you know more times than not we we beat that margin of error. We played less, made less errors. We won seven games and lost five. But when we when we didn't, when we made too many mistakes, we lost a lot of close games. Got blown out once. So I think for where we're at right now, two years into into basically a new program, and I mean that by saying that on July, whatever it was, twenty second, two thousand and whatever it was, twelve. You know, things changed, you know, because of what happened with the sanctions. And I think to be where we are right now, could we be better? Certainly, we could be better. We could have coached better. We could have played better. But I think the program's in pretty good shape right now. Did you ever read these guys were going to play this well? Do you ever have a read on we, an you know, accurate to, read? Yeah, to be honest with you, Dave, I talk to John Butler about this all the time. We, we feel like we practice pretty well. We practice against each other a lot, ones against ones. And so we feel, we always feel like we're going to play pretty well. That's the way we feel. Your travel roster, I think, was 62 guys today. What was your margin of error yeah. with that? And, and and is that something that you – does it surprise you that you could beat the margin of error? Yeah, no, it's a good question, Mark. I, I, I felt like I wanted to bring the guys on this trip, on this particular trip, that were essential to the game. You know, these guys were essential to the game. You know, I wasn't going to – Dress somebody, and it was no, it was no disrespect to any player that was left home. It was the, these guys getting on the plane are essential to us winning the game, and that's what we did. And, and uh, so, really, you know, it's really no different than any other game as far as that goes. But uh, I think we, you know, we made a lot of mistakes tonight, but we they made a little bit more than us, and we were able to come out on top. Your seniors out with win. You talked about like you want to do that. What does that mean? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, these kids have been through a lot. That locker room right there was great. Just a great scene right there. I'm sure you guys could hear it. I mean, th these kids, uh, they're just fantastic kids. You can't say enough about them. I mean, they're good students. They're good guys. They they represent the university well. You've got great students. You've got, you know, decent students. You've got some great football players, some really good role players. You've got a good, good group of guys in there. And, and we elected five permanent captains uh, the other night, and those five were uh, Ty Howell. Uh, uh, John Urschel, Glenn Carson, Daquan Jones, and Pat Zerby. And I thought that those guys were a great representation of our football team and, and of that senior class. Well, we saw a lot of younger guys, especially on the defensive end, whether it was Golden, Williams, Brandon Snell. How, how encouraging was that to see them kind of gel together well with the team moving forward? I think anytime you come into an environment like this and young guys on a road can play and play pretty well, you know, that's pretty good. You know, Trevor Williams played a lot tonight. You know, so I think that uh, that bodes well for the future. Those guys have to keep working and keep trying to improve, but certainly it's good to come in here. Those guys play a lot and we win. That leaves everybody with a pretty good feeling. No. You got a wide open receiver and Anderson was trying to call timeout. Did you see, what did you see from your perspective on the other sidelines. I thought Christian made a great play on that. Um, we called a play there and he they were I think they were having trouble substituting there and, and matching our personnel. We played pretty fast when we're down there in the red area and they left the guy uncovered and Christian got everybody set and threw it out there. That was all Hackenberg. 
How would you so describe the... Uh, two sacks and a key drive in the second half. Yeah. What, what, how have you seen him progress just in the second portion of the season? Yeah, he, he plays extremely hard. He, he's a good pass rusher. He makes a lot of plays. Uh, sometimes he's out of position because of how, how hard he plays, but... Uh, you know, he gives up contain every now and then and things like that, but he's gotten better at that and he's just, I, I really enjoy being around that kid because he loves football and he plays. He's into it on the sidelines when he's not out there and he certainly plays hard when he's out there. Bill, how would you describe the progression of C.J. Olianyan? Uh, what type of player? I know, they, how, how, what do you think about that? Yeah, no, he had a good year for us. Um, he, he made a lot of plays. He's an instinctive player. He played much better this year than he did last year. He's got another year for us. Uh, we're excited about that. And uh, you know, had a good. I think he sat or he got a strip sack fumble today, and uh, almost I'm going to give him uh, some grief about not scoring a touchdown on that now. But he, he made a great play on that, and he's made key plays for us all year in, in the games that we've won. You got a lot of big plays today, and Wisconsin hadn't given up a ton of the big plays all year. Did, was that something that watching some of the film you think you could take advantage of downfield? Yeah, I think so. Uh, then we then we had to come in here, Corey, and confirm it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you you see that on film, but that's not necessarily how they play you. So. You know, we froze them a little bit at the line of scrimmage to see what they were in and then tried to, uh, you know, if they're playing cover one, you know, try to get the ball to Allen or Geno down the field, and we were able to hit some of those. You know, I think my, my theory on that is always if you throw ten deep balls down the field, I'm not sure if we threw ten, but we threw quite a few. If you hit three or four of them, that's big. You know, that's like a, a, a guy batting 400 in baseball. That's the equivalent in football because the deeper the throw, the, the, the less percentages that you're going to hit it. And so I, I think that we did a good job of that tonight. Thanks.